Hey, beautiful soul. Welcome to our weekly live chat, our weekly Wednesday live chat. Um, if you are joining me live, welcome, welcome. If you are watching this on the replay, which I know so many of you do, um, please know that I'm sending so much love to you. I, I always love hearing or reading, I guess, you guys watched on the replay. <clears throat> that, those of you that were here last week, uh, I, I gave a, not really an announcement, but like just a little personal info that I'm preparing to move. And so I have been feeling like I'm running around like chicken with my head cut off. Just so many things happening between preparing and packing and um, sorting and, and all the things. Now, I today want to share with you uh, a little personal story, a kind of sign from spirit on a personal level. Um, you know, I have that free signs mini course, which we'll talk about at the end. But uh, I know several of you have already done the free course, the signs course, and have worked with it on your own. So I'm going to tell you one of the ways it sometimes shows up for me. And the reason I'm talking about moving is because it's all wrapped in together for me. So still working on my coffee this morning. I'm a little bit slow moving today. I've been up already for a long time, but um, if I'm honest, everything hurts. <laughs> if you can see how many bruises I have for moving boxes and sorting things. And I'm not necessarily a person who um, has to save every little thing, although <clears throat> I have a pretty good sized garage here and it seems to have accumulated a lot of things. And as I was going through things over the weekend, it was probably Sunday. I gave my whole day to it and my whole day on Monday, Memorial Day, um, to just packing and sorting and, and spending a good amount of time in the garage organizing. And uh, my kiddos, as you guys might know, are grown. And so they are storing lots of things in my garage. So just kind of separating, you know, um, my daughter's stuff and some of my son's stuff and going through bins that I had that I was like, what is in here? Uh, now, I did reorganize the garage a little bit a couple years ago, but there were bins in there, you know, those like tubby bins that you get from where, wherever, um, Target is usually where I get mine or Home Depot or Lowe's or uh, Walmart or one of those kind of places, those big bins that you can put a lid on. And I have some that I know what's in there. I have kids' pictures and I've got, you know, Christmas decorations that I've been toting around for years. Hey, Facebook user, if you're Facebook and you're saying hi, just tell me your first name because I can't see it until I watch the replay myself. Um, so why am I telling you all about this? Uh, it's because this time, instead of just powering through, um, I kind of have been sorting through things as I go. And as a part of that, I am someone, maybe you can relate, let me know. I'm someone who... I 99% of the things like in my house or in my garage, I know where they came from, who was in my, you know, space at the time, like if it was a trip or if it was a trip to the store or what time period it was, or I just, that's how my memory works. It's a, it's a weird little part of me, which, um, you know, maybe uh, lends itself to my mediumship sometimes. And so I, was going through some things and there was a lot of nostalgia happening and a lot of, um, you know, just, just feelings because I've moved some of these items for years and years now. I mean, I've got stuff from when my kids were babies. I've got baby clothes um, still that I have a special project planned. And so as you do when you're moving or spring cleaning, um, I was going through things and just getting a little nostalgic and trying to process my emotions, uh, but also trying to keep it moving, right? Hey, Diane, good to see you. Uh, lots of love. I heard you just had a birthday. Um, happy birthday. Uh, so I was trying to like continue to move forward and, and process, like get some of this stuff done because there's a lot to be done and it's just me, um, but also trying to feel the emotions and something kind of funny happened. So even though it was daytime, I don't know if you can tell just because these windows look bright on, on screen, but it has been so gray here where I am. It was even kind of rainy, like spitting that day. Um, so I had a flashlight out there because I was thinking like, okay, I can position this flashlight to be like a little light for me and I can get some stuff done out here. Um, and I so I had the flashlight propped up and it had stayed for quite a good while. And I was kind of in the back corner going through. Um, I had downsized my office over COVID. So there were books and I mean, like textbooks. And those of you that know, I had a, a therapeutic massage practice for a lot of years. So lots of <clears throat> lots of like technical books. Um, so I'm sorting through all these things and making my 
um, you know, the things I'm keeping back in the bin and the things I'm giving away because uh, I got no problem giving things away. <laughs> I don't like to carry everything around if I can help it. I feel like I have enough stuff I'm saving. Uh, and all of a sudden, the flashlight just topples down. And the way that everything is arranged out there, it toppled between a couple of chairs. I have big wingback chairs, which are like the big kind with the high back, and then a couple smaller chairs um, and some, some things because I was really just organizing everything. So it falls down in there. And I was like, oh, my gosh, how am I going to get in here? and not knock anything over. My son's got a giant TV in my garage. And I was like, I got to get in here and get this flashlight and get back to packing without uh, knocking anything over. And and I wasn't like frustrated just because it's not it wasn't that big of a deal. And I'm a pretty calm person these days. Um, but I just was like, all right, this is annoying. I got to do this. And I'm going to show you the picture. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But as I wiggled my little self um, in between to get down there and get the flashlight. I'm going to show it to you this way where you can kind of see how it's down between some chairs. I tried to shine a flashlight on it to show you what it is. And let me zoom it in and you can see it is a dime just hiding beneath these chairs in the bottom of my garage in the strangest place. Now, I have talked about signs and dimes before. And I have my, my previous partner had an uncle that would send dimes and he collected dimes in life and it was kind of his thing. But I was like, it's been kind of a while. I didn't have a connection to that gentleman. And I just kind of was like, hey, spirit, like who's these dimes from? Because um, I find them occasionally and I I've attributed to them to him, but that just, I, I wasn't sure. And so I kind of said um, in my mind, or who, perhaps I even said it out loud at this point, like I don't... <laughs> I was having a long day, so I might have said it out loud, but you could say it either way. I just, um, I had this feeling like, I wonder if this is my cousin. I have a cousin that passed away a couple years ago. I loved her very much. And to be quite honest, I'm surprised she doesn't say hi a little bit more than she does. Because I, I feel like even as a medium from the spirit side, I don't hear from her that much. And I'm a little bit surprised. But also, I don't necessarily have a specific sign set up with her. And so... It, she just kind of came to my mind. And like I tell you, often that's how it is. You'll see something and then it's who comes to mind. Her name's Gina. And I was like, Gina, are these dimes from you? Are you sending me dimes? And then as I often do, I wanted validation. So I said, okay, if this is you, I need you to get through to me somehow, either your name, Gina, or I will take the word cousin, um, just because I knew I was not leaving, <laughs> probably not leaving the garage, let alone the property um, that day. And so I was like, I'll also take cousin. I don't know how you're going to get either Gina or cousin through to me, but like, if this is you, please let me know. So then I'm going about the day. I, uh, I have a screen on my front door. So I had the, you know, the door open with the screen and was moving things in and out and sorting as you do. And I heard my neighbors who are over the fence, um, I don't, I can't really see them, but I hear them. And I heard them yelling to, it was either a neighbor on the other side of them or someone across the street. And they were saying, oh, you know, you, you brought friends. They sometimes have gatherings. And they were like, oh, you brought, you're bringing your friends this weekend. That's great. And all of a sudden I hear someone billowing, like belting out back, oh no, this is my cousin. So loud. And then the conversation was kind of that uh, peanuts, which is like Charlie Brown, wah, 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 for the rest of the conversation. But all voluminous, I heard, this is my cousin. And I just was like, okay, that's crazy. Um, and so I knew that these dimes are from my cousin, which <sighs> a few things. One, for me, um, it really shows the intelligence of the spirit world because it, it is... Uh, a time where she probably would be saying hi to me. I wouldn't say I was like upset or having a hard time, but I, I was, you know, it could be a little overwhelming. Let's be honest, moving is a little overwhelming sometimes. Um, and there feels like there's a lot to do in a very short time because it's a much more accelerated time frame of moving than I had anticipated. So uh, it just goes to show how they can show up to us in ways, even that we don't know they're showing up to us in times when we might need them the most. And it's not like I said, it's not even like I was devastated and, and needing 
consolation or needing that type of love. It was just a little hello, just her letting me know like, hey, you're not alone. And she and I used to have very long conversations about family and different things. And so it just felt really lovely to to receive that little sign from her. And now I know I can look for dimes from her. So that is one of the ways that these signs can work. And if you have not already gotten the sign magnet, the free mini sign course, just go to my website, joyfulmedium.com. It's right on the homepage. You just put your email um, and that's how you receive it. So you'll get access right away to the first lesson. And then the other two will come in your email box. Check your spam. Uh, for a few of you, it's not everyone. It's probably only about 5% of people it's going to their spam. But the other 95%, it's coming right to the inbox. Um, it's not a Zoom link. They're the videos. You just get them, access to them. It's not like a live course. It's recorded for you. And one of them comes with a little downloadable cheat sheet if you want it. Uh, but in the lesson that teaches you how to get signs from your loved ones in the spirit world, we talk about the different ways that can work. Either you can choose something and ask them to show it to you. But in this case, she is kind of choosing what she's going to send me, which is is not even something that I would like associate with her at all. I mean, she's a 10 all the way. <laughs> but So in that way, yeah, maybe she's a dime. Um, but uh it's just not something I would have put two and two together. So if you do receive a sign like that and you you sense that it is from a loved one and you're not entirely sure who, but someone pops to mind or you have a couple people in mind, like it could be this person or this person, kind of ask for another sign and ask for them, you know, depending on how unusual their name is, if it's something that's like really obscure or specific, you might not get exactly their name, but perhaps you could get the first letter or a state that they lived in or something that was like a significant to them. You know, my cousin was super into astrology. So if I couldn't get the name Gina or the word cousin, I could have also said, um, someone needs to talk to me about astrology within the next 48 hours. Uh, the reason I didn't do that is because people kind of sometimes talk to me about astrology. I don't do it personally, but I have a lot of clients that do it and friends that practice it. Um, speaking of astrology, on the podcast, the Spirit Speakeasy podcast, next week I'm going to be recording with, if you remember, She Tall Story, our, my friend and our friend who is an astrologer. She's going to do the solstice report and uh, give us some astrology heads up for the rest of the year. So because it's already part of my conversation, I was like, let me just go straight forward and ask for her name or for cousin. Uh, uh, Anna says, thanks for encouraging us. Thanks for being here with me. You guys encourage me um, probably more than you know. Uh, and I always appreciate you guys' feedback and you guys share so much love and it makes me want to keep talking and sharing and doing these things. So I, I appreciate you equally, Anna. Um, so that is my little uh, chat about how I received a sign. Now, I do have a couple other loved ones that I see signs from pretty frequently that say hello. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's maybe been a minute, but I've been a little tucked away working on packing. Like I, like I told you guys last week, you're probably not going to see this side of the room <laughs> for the rest of the time I live here. Um, there are the boxes over there, guys. Uh, but, you know, it was just so nice to have the comfort of the spirit world. And I just wanted to share with you because sometimes even when we are not requesting the sign or we are not, um, you know, we're very busy in our human life or in our, our moving or in our work or whatever it is, the things that we're doing day to day they still are aware of us. They still know when we need a little love or when we need a little encouragement or even just a little hello, even just a, hey, I'm here. Um, so just letting yourself be more available for that. It's a really special connection that's available to you. And sometimes even me as a medium, sometimes I forget that my own loved ones um, are around even when I might not feel them close. I don't feel my own loved ones all the time either. Uh, sometimes I do, but not always. And it's just been really special, um, you know, since it happened these last couple of days, just to just to kind of think about it and to know that she is around because she's someone, like I said, that I'm often like, hey, why aren't you? <laughs> Why are you saying hi more? You wanted to say hi a lot when you were here. Um, so I hope that inspires you and helps you to think a little differently about signs from your own loved ones in spirit world. And like I said, we, ha we had a relationship. I mean, she wasn't my best friend necessarily, but we were cousins. She was a, a good bit older than me. She was in her, 
um, 70s when she passed away and I'm in my 40s. So she was she's a good bit older than me, but we still had a relationship and she would still have an interest, particularly when I'm going through things or sorting things, moving things. Um, there probably are some of her things out there that she'd given me in the past. I have a pair of sunglasses that were hers. So it's these little special ways that spirit can say hello to us, even if it's not something we asked for, even if it's not the sign that they usually send us. So if you receive something, um, this is kind of an addition to that science course. If you receive something and you're not sure who it's from, if you know someone pops in your mind or a couple people on the other side pop into your mind, just kind of do what I explained today and ask them for a further validation to know that it is them. Um, I hope that you are getting to play with signs from your own loved ones in the spirit world on your best days and your most challenging days because they love you every day, no matter what is going on. Um, they have love and time for you. So I would love it if you would share some recent signs that you received. Uh, I, as you see, I still get really excited about all this. And if you have taken the science course, Sign Magnet, again, on my website, totally free, three-day mini course, joyfulmedium.com. Put your info in there. You can have it right away, the first lesson, and it's three lessons. Um, let me know. How are you liking the course? Did you like it? Did you complete it? And what are some of the signs you're receiving? Or what's the most recent sign that you receive from a loved one? Mine's clearly dimes. Uh, if you're just tuning in, watch it over because I show you the picture. I took like a, I mean, it's not the best picture. It's in my garage. I'm trying to like wedge myself in to get my flashlight. But how crazy is it that she was able to have the flashlight fall exactly where this dime was? And this is the only change that I know of in my garage. I don't have like, I'm just not not a person that like saves change or has change. Um, so it was in such a strange place, uh, in such a strange way that she got me to find it. And it, it was in a moment where I was feeling a little stressed. So let me know what's the most recent signs that you have been receiving. Um, I would love it if you guys would check out the Spirit Speakeasy podcast. If you haven't already, it's called Spirit Speakeasy. You can find it wherever you get podcasts. Um, Apple, Google, Spotify, uh, all the places. It's on my website, the full video version, joyfulmedium.com in the blog section if you want to watch the video of it. This um, this week, we had hospice nurse Penny. She is a TikTok sensation. She has over 650,000 followers on TikTok, uh, sharing all of her wealth of knowledge and experience about um, the process of transitioning into the spirit world and wanting to really just take the fear out of it. So check out her story. It was amazing. And last week, as promised, uh, I did a reading on the podcast. So I brought a guest on and did a reading for him. And that reading is there for you to hear as well. Anna says she received a white feather in the house. I love that. Um, thank you for sharing that. I get so excited about other people's signs too. So again, let me know what signs you have received. Check out that sign magnet mini course um, and follow or listen or like or share Spirit Speakeasy. Big hugs, lots of love. I will see you Friday for our weekly mini message from Spirit. Uh, big hugs and bye for now.